There is a huge and growing demand for secure NFC data transfer where data protection is paramount. This includes areas such as contactless payment, obviously, access control and public transport ticketing systems. Barish Yilmaz is here to talk about ST's offering in this domain. Barish, welcome. Just to Hi. start with, why is this of use to me in my home? Well, simply everywhere where our data needs to be protected, this is very useful. And if I think about the real example uh, in your, our home appliance, this could be an electric meter where your consumption of the data must be treated in a confidential way and is your own private data. And why is the ST25 family a perfect fit? Well, the S25 is a product which can enable us our secure data transfer over NFC. Thanks to the S25 DV, which is a dynamic tech, and its features uh, where we will focus about the fast transfer mode and the so-called SPSFU. This is a service supported by the STM32 microcontrollers in order to grant a secure boot and an authenticated firmware upgrade. And I can simply use a smartphone? It's a simple Absolutely. Way. This is simply like this. Uh, today, NFC is a contactless technology supported by the Android devices and recently by the iOS 13. So on the technical side of things is where you lose me, but that's yes. important. <laughs> what are the key benefits to customers? Well, the key benefits is here uh, using the S25 DV, which enables us to um, be able to communicate through the contactless interface to an NFC reader or RFID reader or smartphone. And at the same time to a microcontroller, thanks to the I2C interface. And using the fast transfer mode, which is going through uh, RAM memory, uh, we will be able to speed up, which allows us to speed up the communications between those two devices. I, I'm sorry if it's a stupid question. What's the point in the, in the secure data transfer idea then? So we can uh, run a secure data transfer either to send or retrieve data during operation, or if we want to set the uh, parameters of the device directly, or if you want to upload uh, a new firmware to the device. But the key point is that only a granted user will be able to communicate to the STM32 microcontroller in order to perform those operations. Uh, and how do you enable the secure transfer channel then? Well, there are uh, three essential uh, elements, let's say, in order to uh, start or establish a secure session. The first one will be a mutual authentication, which means that the two operators need to make a handshake first, so there's a first key exchange. The second one will be a exchange of the public keys, which is an AES session key, in order to allow the bidirectional encrypted communication and in order to uh, allow to sh um, share the private secret. And the third one on top is the crypto algorithms, which is based on the uh, SCM32 ready to use firmware implementations in all the microcontrollers. Okay, let's see this in action with your ST25 products. Yes, for sure. Um, and for this purpose, I already uh, prepared a small demo, which uh, consists of the uh, iPhone based on the iOS 13 uh, operating system and the SC25 DV discovery kit based on the STM32 motherboard plus the RFID uh, sister board. So what I'm going to do first is to uh, create a close coupling between those two devices and create a secure session like I previously explained in the uh, steps before. Once the uh, user is authenticated, we start to read and decrypt or to send the data from the smartphone to the S25 DV device in a secure way. And for this purposes, I uh, just sent here some, some measuring data, which can be used for the operation. And uh, I'm going to uh, repeat this same kind of uh, demo again. If I create a secure session for the second uh, demo use case and start to send some An image, yeah. image, yes, absolutely to the ST25 device again. And as we can follow up on the left screen, the device uh, can uh, decrypt the uh, what image. What if somebody's properly. eavesdropping on all of this? Yes, absolutely good point. So um, for this purpose, I uh, prepared a third one. And here the purpose is to show how securely the data transfer can be 
done, even there is an eavesdropper in between. So this means if somebody is going to sniff our data, and um, if we repeat the same uh, procedure again, and we launch here the function of the eavesdropper, and when we send a simple text message from the smartphone to the device again, we can see that the um, message was re uh, properly received by the device. But if we uh, follow up here on the screen, um, what happens if the eavesdropper wants to uh, sniff the data, then we can simply see that the uh, data which are encrypted cannot be decrypted by It's these. all corrupted, basically. Absolutely. I would not want anyone sniffing my data, Parish. Absolutely. Listen, thanks so much. It's fantastic. And look You're forward welcome. to speaking to you again. Thank you.